Well, good day. This is going to be Backspace and Delete, Undo and Redo. We'll look at some non-printing characters, and then we'll look at some word wrap. Let's get started. First, we'll look at Backspace and Delete. And what I'm going to do is concentrate on this part of the keyboard right here. On this part of the keyboard, there's the Backspace key, and there's the Delete key. Now, these keys are quite different. They do different things. And, oh, yes, yes, I know, there's another Delete key right over here. But I'm not going to talk about that one. The Delete keys do the same thing if the num lock is off, but I'm going to concentrate on this delete key over here. The backspace key will delete one character to the left of wherever you are. So for instance, if you went to Microsoft Word and you typed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and you carefully got between the 5 and the 6 right about there and you were to press the backspace key, what would happen? If you press the backspace key, it'll erase the character to the left. It'll erase the 5. And then if you press backspace again, you'll erase the character to the left. You'll erase the 4. And if you backspace again, the character to the left is a 3. You'll delete the 3. Now, the backspace key is quite different from the delete key. If you were to again type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you were to carefully get between the 5 and the 6 and click right there. And then you were to press the delete key just once. It would delete the character to the right. It would delete the 6 and it move the 7, 8, 9 in. And if you press delete again, it'll delete the 7. That's the character on the right. If you d press the delete key again, it'll delete the 8. So the backspace key erases a character to the left, and the delete key erases a character to the right. Let's look at this, for example. Let's say that it was the fall of 19 1859, not 1849, 1859. And I click right here, and I want to delete that 4. How do I get rid of the 4? Should I press the backspace, or should I d press the delete? The thing I want to delete is on the right. The 4 is on the right. I choose delete. Delete erases to the right. Now I can type a 5, 1859. Over here it says, when they had left us, I heard no more of them for their years. It's supposed to be three years. So I'm going to click right here, and I want to get rid of that R. How do I get rid of the R? Should I do backspace, or should I do delete? Backspace will erase things to the left, but I want to delete the thing on the right, so I'm going to press delete. And now I'm going to click right here, and I'm going to type an R. Three. Three years. Let's look at undo and redo. Let's say, for instance, I take this document. I want to change the margins over here. Right now I see I have about an inch of space over here. So I'm going to go to page layout, and I'm going to find the margins. And on the margins, I can change them to one of the presets is wide. Let's choose wide. And then you think, oh my gosh, that looks terrible. That looks terrible. I don't want it to be uh, wide. In fact, I forgot what it used to be. What did it used to be set at? I don't even know. So I'm going to do undo. And that's hiding up here at the quick access toolbar. There's the undo. And I'll just give it a click. Hey, it does undo. Maybe I want to put line numbers on the side. And so I find this one, line numbers. You find this a lot in legal papers. And I'll say, hey, I want continuous line numbers. And he says, OK, here you go, line numbers. And I think, you know what, that looks kind of dumb. I don't want to do that. I'm going to undo. So I'll do this, undo. And then you think, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe I want those lines again. I'm going to redo. I want those line numbers back again. And this one is redo. Give it a click, redo. Hey, look at that. Or I can say, you know what, I hate that, undo. You know what, I want that back, redo. Now you can do this with a keyboard as well. The undo is control Z. Or the redo says, hey, I want to undo that undo. That's control Y. Control Y is the same as do and redo. Let's go look at non-printing characters now. You might notice that when I type this up, right here at the beginning of the paragraph, I press the tab key on the keyboard. And between the two words, I press the space bar on the keyboard. When I got done with this paragraph at the end, the way I got from down here to down here is I pressed enter. But you can't see the tab character. I mean, you can see the W, you can see the H, but you can't see the tab. It's just white space. And you can't see the space bar. It's just white space. And you can't see the Enter command. But there is a button that will show you non-printing characters. And that is the Show Hide button. It's on the Home tab. And over here on the Paragraph group, it says Show Hide. I'll give it a click. And it shows you the characters that will not print. And they have little symbols. Like this first one is a little arrow. And that tells me somebody pressed the tab key. And the little dots in between words, that means somebody pressed the space bar. When I see little dots, 
I'll know that somebody pressed the space bar. And when I see this little backwards P down here, this tells me somebody pressed the Enter key. That's the paragraph mark. Let me go down here and I'll press Enter and watch what happens. Enter. You see I get a new paragraph mark. Now I'm going to do Tab, Tab, Tab. Tab, Tab, Tab. Look what I got. Little symbols for the tab. And I'll type uh, I tapped the Tab key three times. There. Between the words, I press the space bar. And over here, I press the tab key. And right here, I press the space bar. And over here was the enter. There's one here, and there's one here at the very end. Those are all non printing characters. There's many non printing characters, but here are three of them, three that you should know. And you should know to find the show hide button, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on. And there you go. The last thing to talk about is word wrap. Let's go look at an example of that. Here's an example of part of a letter, and it looks like somebody's typed this, but really it's just a picture of words. It's not really words that I typed. I just made a picture of words to show you that this is what I'm going to type. So this person who typed it up, they used a certain font and a certain point size. And when I got near the border over here, over near the margin, they got to La Paloma and there wasn't enough room for yesterday to fit on the line because it was almost at the edge of the paper. So the computer automatically put yesterday down there. The person did not get to the end and press enter. No, no. So now I'm going to type the letter myself. Dear Julio, enter, enter. All right, I'm getting to the near where it says Paloma, Paloma. I'm not going to enter. I'm just going to space. I'm going to type yesterday because I have room for yesterday, period, space, space. We were, I'm almost at the edge, T-A-K-E-N. I did not press enter. The computer pushed it down all by itself, and that's called word wrap, word wrap. You don't press enter at the end of the line. The computer pushes the characters to the next line by itself. You don't do it. Let me type the rest of this and we'll see what happens. I'm giving up, I'm giving up slowly. I'm blending in so you won't even know me. Apart from the Oh, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Oh, it pushed it down by itself. Enter, enter. The world that shares my fate. This one last bullet you mentioned It's my one last shot of redemption Cause I know to live you must give your life away And I've been housing all this doubt And insecurity now Oh, look at that, it went by itself Been locked inside the house All the while you hold the key And I've been dying to get out And that might be the death of me And even though there's no way of knowing Where to go, I promise I'm going because Did it again. Stuck inside this rut that I fell into by two spaces after a sentence. Mistake. I gotta get out of here. And I'm begging you, I'm begging you, I'm begging you to be my escape. There, good. So I didn't press enter until I wanted to start a new paragraph down here. Let's do the show hide and see where did I press enter. I give this thing and it says, did you press enter at the end? No, I did not press enter. Did you press enter here? No, you did not. Did you press enter here? Yes, I did. I was at the end of a paragraph and I wanted to start a new paragraph. Then I was on this empty line and I decided, hey, I want to move down to another line. So I pressed enter again. But I did not press enter at the end of the line. No, I only pressed enter at the end of the paragraph or if I wanted to make a new space. Well, that was backspace and delete, undo and redo. We looked at some non-printing characters, and then we learned a little bit about word wrap. That's about all there is to it.